Okay, we got a new business opening. Uh, gotta do a check. They got this cooler, two door cooler. It's a true refrigerator. And they say it's only doing like 41. I don't know, it feels kind of cold to me. Also a complaint, it's a little on the noisy side. I agree with that. It's almost like it's just something rubbing. Kind of. I don't know. Noisy son of a gun. Something rubbing. Hey. This is what we got going on with this fridge. That's a two door. Um, it's not coming. It's coming back on at 42.9 degrees, which is too high. Oh, darn it. I think I need to put batteries in this thing. 42.9. Yeah, let me turn on the light. Okay. So 42.9 degrees, it's coming on, uh, going down to 31, which is a little cold, but I'm not worried about that end of it. It's the cut-in part, so it looks like we need a new temperature control. Um, it's st sticky or something. Not coming on to 43, max 41. So should be coming on at around 40, 41, because these are constant cut-in controls on these tables. So that's what's cool about this fluke meter. You can uh, be doing your thing and just watch it cycle. Um, so, uh, all right, so gotta get a new temperature control for this thing. Okay, so I need a temperature control. I wonder where it could be. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Let's see if I can. handy dancy dandy temperature controls that NorCal temperature controls I think I might oh man this is nice um hmm oh this is so sweet like two steps and I should have a NorCal temperature control boom bada boom bada bing this is <laughs> Thanks, NorCal. For, uh, let's see if this will work. Check it out. And it might just work. Alrighty. This. Boom bada boom. So nice. Almost as nice as NorCal's drawers on his trucks. Those new slide slide out drawers. Almost as nice. Alright. Let's see if this works. I think it will. 800-306. I'll have to look at that. Okay, replacing a true temperature control on a two-door. 
crypt table. Um, this is the model number in here. Okay, let me just uh, remove the sc uh, screw out of here. Let's see if I can turn off this light. I think it's not helping me. Okay, so take that screw out. This screw out. They're plastic. This screw out. This one. That one. That one. And then this should all just pull forward. There you go. Now that done. There's the light. Okay. Temperature control goes in here. Oh, we'll see it's rusted. Oh boy, okay. So if the control's been in there a while. This freaking looks original. Wow, this thing's like 13 years old. It's original. I'll be down there because I don't coil wires up like that. <laughs> wow. Original. Wow. That's something. It's a 2008 refrigerator. I started it up December 2008. Wow, oh, that's something. Okay, uh, original temperature control. 2008 uh, prep table. Whew. Old dog. Man, look at this thing. Man. Oh, I'll tell you. This is something else. Oh, it smokes. Holy smokes. That's something. Is that cap tube back? Wow. Look at that. <laughs> cap tube smashed behind there. Holy smokes. That makes this fridge is still working. Still gets cold as hell though. Noisy sucker though. Alright, let's get on with this. Let's just uh, pull your wires off right here. These two on top. And uncoil this stuff and pull it out of here. Let's see if we can do this. And that copper tube is not supposed to come out with it, so that's got to go back in. And then you pull the. You gotta do this. But yeah, you pull. See how I did that? The, the copper tube goes back in there. That goes supposed to go back in there and the send this will come out of like that like so all right then I gotta push that part back in there and oh boy that was nice they do not usually come out that easy uh you gotta make sure you do it I let it's been off for about 15 20 minutes so don't ever try to do it when the coils all froze up or anything so best to do it when it's at room temperature or Looks like this. Looks like the best time to do it is when it's just been off for about 30, 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, all right. Okay, this is a little trick I do. Uh, I put in just one screw in the bottom and make sure when you do this that you put the control in the right direction so that it's not uh, upside down or right side up you got to make sure that the off position on your switch is on the left side so you want to put the knob on and confirm that all the way counterclockwise is zero and then when you go all the way clockwise at nine and it ends up with the notch so that's just a uh, pro trip pro tip so anyways I like to like I said I like to put one screw in, in the bottom and then I try to slip it slip it in Slip one side of it. Slip one side of it in. You can slip the whole thing in with one screw on it. Let's see if I can do this. So I like to do it that way. And then uh, once you got the one screw in there. Then you just reach over the other side and flip the bottom thing up and put the last screw in it. So it makes your job a little easier. All right, little, another pro trick. All 
Okay, um, then, uh, then all you end up with is you end up with the one screw and the control in here, and then you just open the door and line it up, and you just have one screw to put in. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, uh, so you can put a nice little wire tie here if you wish to uh, hope that help that capillary tube just to stay put. Um, let me just take the wires and hook them on the connections on the back of the cord control. Right there, those two brass connections sticking out. Okay, it doesn't matter which wire goes on where. It's just a uh, connection. Either lets electricity through or not. So, okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay, um, this uh, 61-030 uh, temperature control that's right here uh, does not work right out of the box. Um, the cut in on this particular two-door prep table um, is 45 degrees. The, the control is cutting in at 45 degrees. So, uh, yeah, 45 or 46 degrees so that's not going to work so I'm going to try adjusting the cut in which is that bottom brass screw there's those two screws on the left and I'm going to turn it it's supposed to be every quarter turn is two degrees uh, colder is the direction clockwise as you can see the arrow so I'm going to go a half of a turn a little more than a half a turn to see if it works if not, I'm just going to get the right control. Okay, so I adjusted the cut in. I adjusted the cut in. A little more than a half a turn. So hopefully that should give me five degrees. And if it works, it'll be all worth it. Okay. Now, how to put this control in the thing, you put the one screw in the bottom, like I said before, and then you put this part, the front part, that doesn't have the screw. You stick that through first at an angle, and then and put it through like that. Then, and you hang the bottom in there like that. Yeah. Give this thing an angle. Give it a twist, a little push so it doesn't fight you. So uh, I'm gonna put this back this way. Okay, and there you go, you're all set up to just put one screw in the top. And then we can give it a run. Start up, let's see if this works. Okay, so I adjusted it colder and it got me uh, from 46.3 degree cut in. Uh, to a 43.1 cut in. So I got a little over three degrees turning it five eighths of a turn clockwise, the cut in one. So I'm gonna go, that means it's about a, a degree and a quarter, about, a little over a degree. You could almost call it a degree every quarter turn. So I'm gonna go another, to get my 41 degree cut in, um, I'm going to go a half a turn, so that should be two more degrees, drop me down to 41, maybe just it'll be a shade, be somewhere between 40 and 41, which is exactly what I want. So I just got to go half turn more. <laughs> 